This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. How did you do there? You got your third photograph cropped? Okay, I hope you made it all right. This is what I wound up with here. Now, what we actually have here inside Flash isn't much of a slideshow. <laughs> we only have three photographs. And as a matter of fact, they're all stacked one on top of another. Notice they're all in there, but they're all kind of all sitting on top of one another there, which is no good. So what I want to do now is I want to start creating the actual slideshow with some slideshow transitions as well. Now, I mentioned this earlier. I'm going to keep this really simple and really, really easy. I don't want to get into anything too, too crazy here inside Flash. So this is sort of the easiest, simplest way to create a self-running slideshow inside Flash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my most recently imported photographs, select them there, and delete them. Now, you might be shocked and mortified to see me do that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the the second photograph here, I'm going to delete him as well. What's neat about this is we're only removing the photographs from the Flash stage. Notice that they still exist inside the library panel. So we haven't deleted anything from the Flash file. They're still ready to go inside the library panel. Okay? So hopefully no worries. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work down on the timeline. I want to actually create the slide transitions on the timeline. But in order to do so, I have to work with what's referred to as symbols here inside Flash. So I'm going to take this first photograph, the first photograph that we imported, and I'm going to convert them to what's referred to as a graphic symbol here inside Flash. And I'm going to do so by selecting this guy and then heading up to the Modify menu and then down to Convert to Symbol. And then inside the Convert to Symbol dialog box, I'm going to make sure that the Type drop-down menu is set to Graphic. And then I'm going to give this guy a name. Now, you can leave him as Symbol 1, but very much like layers inside Photoshop, by the time you get to Symbol 23, you'll go, which one is which again? I can't remember. So I'm going to call this, I'm simply going to call this Photo 1. How's that? There's only three photos, so Photo 1, that's good enough for us. Go ahead and click on OK. Now, notice we now have a graphic symbol added to our library as well. What's a little bit confusing if you've never really worked much with Flash is the object that we see on the stage is not the first graphic that we imported, Daniel Foster 437. It's actually Photo 1. And Photo 1 contains Daniel Foster 437. So. This first photograph is now contained inside photo one, and photo one now resides on the stage. A little bit bizarre, but let's keep going here. Okay, now let's turn our attention to the timeline. Down on the timeline, I'm going to click on frame five, and I'm going to go ahead and insert what's referred to as a keyframe. So I'm going to head up to the Insert menu, and then down to Timeline, and then I'm going to choose Keyframe. And what that does is that essentially copies whatever was in the previous frame to the current frame, just like that. Wonderful. Okay, next I'm going to go all the way down to frame 15, and I'm going to go ahead and insert another keyframe. Insert, timeline, and then down to keyframe. Wonderful. And then one more keyframe, down on frame 20. One more time, insert, timeline, keyframe. There we go, perfect. All right, so hopefully all good here. Now, a little bit more work. Hopefully this will make sense as we go along here. I'm going to go all the way back to frame one on my timeline. I'm going to make sure that my graphic is selected just by single clicking on them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip into my properties panel and we have this color effect area. Go ahead and twist that open. And from the style menu, I'm going to choose alpha. Go ahead and choose alpha there. Now we have this alpha slider. What Photoshop refers to as opacity or transparency, Flash calls alpha. So rather than this graphic or this photograph being 100%, I'm going to drag this slider all the way down to the left. Now it's 0%. In other words, it's not there at all. And you know, I'm going to do the same thing for the object on frame 20 as well. So go ahead and click on frame 20 in the timeline. Make sure that your object is selected your graphic symbol, and then over inside the properties panel, same story, style, and then down to alpha, 
and Flash remembers the last alpha setting, which is kind of handy. Okay, now what about the actual transition, though? The actual animation, if you will. Inside the timeline, I have this playhead, this red playhead, and I can actually grab this guy and drag him to the left and to the right to play my animations. But there's no animation. It basically goes from white to photograph, and then from photograph back to white. So there's no real transitions happening there. To do so, I have to actually create some animation on the timeline. And I'm going to use something called a classic tween to pull this off. So what I'm going to have you do is drop your cursor anywhere between frame 1 and frame 5 on the timeline and right click and then choose create classic tween, just like that. Notice we can see our photograph now. So now when I drag my playhead back and forth, now we have a transition happening here. Again, this is the down and dirty, the easiest way to create a slideshow inside Flash. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time between frame 15 and frame 20. Right-click, create classic tween. And now when I drag my playhead to the left and to the right, or scrub the timeline, as the pros call it, I can see this transition. So this is how things are going to start. The photograph is going to fade in. It's going to be present for a little while, and then it's going to fade out to nothing, just like that. Okay, now we've set that up for one of our photographs. We only have to do that three more times. Sounds like fun. Let's go and get the job done.